Hi, fifth grade. Today we are doing lesson 7.2, which is over the order of operations. Now this is something that we have already touched on, so this should be a review, but we really struggle with following through with the order of operations. So you have to pay attention to your order. First is parentheses, then exponents, then multiply and divide, and then add and subtract. Now notice on multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction, you do whichever one comes first. So if I have an equation that has multiplication and division, I do whichever one comes first in the equation. Or if I have addition and subtraction, I do whichever one comes first. And we're gonna see some examples of that as we go down through here. But we're gonna jump right in. You have to use, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally as you go through these. It says follow the order of operations to simplify and then it gives us our equation. So I'm gonna use my order of operations and I'm gonna look. Do I have any parentheses? Yes, so I'm going to do those first. Five plus two is seven. I'm gonna write down a seven. And then I'm gonna copy down everything that I haven't done yet. So I haven't done 25 or the minus. So I'm gonna copy that down. And then behind there, I haven't used the times or the three. Anytime there's a dot, we know that's multiply. I just use the symbol instead of actually putting the dot. All right, now my new equation is right here. I'm going to keep going. I don't have any exponents, so then I check for multiplication. Yes, I do have multiplication, so that's what I'm going to do next. Seven times three is 21. Then I'm going to copy down anything that I have not used yet. So I haven't used the minus or the 25. And that brings me to my last step. 25 minus 21 is four. So my answer for this one would be four. Let's try another one with number one. So I'm looking, I have addition and I have division. So I'm gonna look through my order of operations. Which one of those should I do first? Well, division comes before addition. So first I need to divide and you can add some little parentheses there if you want to so that you know what you're doing there. 16 divided by four. Well, that's a multiplication fact. If I didn't know that, I could divide it out. 16 would go in the house and four would go on the outside. 16 divided by four is going to be four. So I'm gonna put down a four there. Then I'm going to copy down everything else that I haven't used. So I haven't used the plus sign and I haven't used the five. All right, now all I have left is five plus four, which would equal nine. Remembering to circle my answers so that Miss Whitney can easily find them on my paper when she goes to grade it later on. All right, let's go on to number two. I have some division, I have some addition, and I have some multiplication. So I'm looking through my order. I have multiplication, division, and addition. Now remember, if I have both multiplication and division, I do whichever one comes first. So I'm gonna start at the front and whichever one of these comes first is what I do first. So this time division comes first. So I'm actually gonna divide first. 20 divided by four, that's a fact, that should be five. Copy down what I haven't used. So I haven't used the plus or the three or the times or this three. Then I'm going to look again. Now I have addition and I have multiplication. Well, multiplication comes first. So I'm going to multiply three times three, which is nine. And then I'm going to copy down. I haven't used this plus sign or this five yet. So five plus nine is 14. This is not hard. All you have to do is look up here and follow your order of operations. But sometimes we get lazy and we don't want to look up here. You have to look because if you do them in the wrong order, you're going to get the wrong answer. All right, let's scooch on down. Keep going with number three here. I see that I have parentheses. I always have to do that first. So I have 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2. I need to stack those up and add them. That's gonna give me a 0 0.5. So I'm gonna write that down underneath there. And then I'm gonna look, what do I have left that I have not used yet? I have a 10 and I have a times. All right, now obviously I need to do 10 times 0 0.5, so 10 times 0 0.5, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 1 is 5, and I have one number behind my decimal, so my decimal would go right there. 5.0 would be my final answer. Okay, let's try another one with number 4 here. 
automatically I see parentheses, that always has to come first. So I have to do my parentheses first. Two plus four is six. Then I'm gonna copy down everything that I haven't used. So in front, I haven't used the times or the six yet. And behind, I haven't used the divided or the three yet. All right, now I'm looking, I have times and divide. So I have these two, remember, whichever one comes first if I have both of them. So I'm just gonna go from the front. Six times six is 36. And then I haven't used the divide by three yet. I might need to put that in the house. 36 divided by three, that would be a one. Bring down my six, that would be a two. So I got a 12 as my final answer. All right, I'm gonna do a few more and then you can get on with your assignment. Number five, I automatically see parentheses, so that has to come first. However, this is fractions and I don't have the same bottom number. So remember, first I would need to cross multiply here. So six and one is six, three and five is 15, and then six and three is 18. Now I can subtract, so 15 eighteenths minus 6 eighteenths would be 9 eighteenths. Then I'm going to look back up. What else do I have that I have not used yet? Well, I haven't used the times or the 4. All right, now we have to remember fraction times a big number. We do big number times the top. So 9 times 4 is 36. Bottom number stays the same. If we were to simplify that, we would divide it out. 36 divided by 18, that would give me a big 2. 2 would be my final answer. All right, going on to number 6. Ooh, I see two sets of parentheses, so I know I have to start with that. Anytime I see parentheses, that's the first thing that I have to do. So I have 1.3, I'm going to stack these up over here to the side, plus 2.7. That should give me a 4.0 for that. So 4.0 under this one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my other parentheses too. So 2.2 minus 1.7, that would give me a 0 0.5. So I'm gonna put a 0 0.5 under that one. And then I have to look, what do I have left that I have not used yet? Well, the only thing is my division sign. All right, so now I need to divide. Whichever number comes first here goes inside the house always. So 4.0 divided by 0 0.5. I cannot divide by a decimal, so I'm gonna move that guy back one. If I move him back one, I have to move him back one. I might want to rewrite it with my decimals in their new spot. It would look like this. So then I'm dividing how many fives will go into 40. That would be an eight. Five times eight is 40. So that gives me a zero. So eight would be my answer for this number six. All right, we have two more here. Let's finish those out. Number seven, I see that I have addition, multiplication, and addition. So I'm gonna look back up here. I always look back at my chart. I have addition and multiplication. Multiplication has to come first. So first I'm going to multiply 0 0.1 times five. I need to stack it up over to the side. And that is going to give me a 0, 5. And then I look, I have one number behind my decimal, so I would put my decimal right there. 0 0.5 is what I got. Then I'm going to copy down anything that I have left. So in front, I have a plus and a 0 0.3. And behind there, I have a plus and a 0 0.2. Now I just have addition. If I only have addition, I'm just going to start at the front. So let's do the front two first. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5. I could stack them up over here if I need to. That is going to give me 0 0.8. So I got 0 0.8 there. And then I have to look, what do I have left that I haven't used? We haven't used the plus or the 0 0.2. So that would be my final step, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2. Could stack them up up here. Be really careful here. You have to stack them up because it's gonna be 1.0 as my final answer. I just really have to follow those order of operations. All right, we have one more to finish out here. Looking at number eight, I have minus, plus, and minus. So everything is addition and subtraction. Remember, when I have both, it's whichever comes first. So I'm just gonna start at the front. Whichever one comes first is what I'm gonna do first. So first is 21 minus 12. I'm going to work that out over here, being careful with take one, give one. That gives me a nine. So 21 minus 12 is nine. 
Then I'm going to copy down everything else that I haven't done yet. So I haven't used the plus, nine, minus, or the two. Remember, again, I have addition and subtraction, so I'm just going to start at the front, whichever one comes first. So I need to do nine plus nine, which is 18. Then copy down what I haven't used yet. I haven't used the minus or the two. So 18 minus two is my last step, which would give me a 16. As long as you look and follow your order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, these are not hard. However, if you are lazy and you do not want to look through all of these, you are going to get the wrong answer. So make sure that you are using your order of operations as you do your assignment. Good luck. Bye.